Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little review demo on um, bubble baits. And you kind of seen it. Um, it came, mine came in an envelope. I ordered only a few things. I ordered the Brush Me Off Brush Soap. And then I ordered a refill. I got a sugar scrub. And she had a promo where um, for a birthday where she sent a chocolate mint bath truffle to drop in the bath water and it smells like chocolate it smells so good so um let me go ahead and open it i want to try this first on my brushes and see so i'll be right, right back so um we're gonna test this out first i'm gonna try to clean my beauty blender with it and see how it does and then i have a little thing of brushes i'll do a few and then the rest i'll time lapse and see what the results of these are um and let me go figure out how I'm going to do this. I don't have like a stand or anything for this. So we'll see how this will work. And I'll list the prices and um, options in the description bar for you. Okay, so first off, this Brush Me Off Brush Soap comes in a little tin like this. And I don't remember the, the price of this. I'll list it. And then you buy refills that just come like this. So I bought just to compare. But it's the same um, size. Opens like this and it's a full tin. As you can see, there's no nothing around and it fits the in the whole entire little thing it smells really good i am horrible describing scents but let's see what it says on here um to use it says wet brush and swirl and soap rub in circular motion on soap rinse brush squeeze excess water shape and lay flat or brushes flat on towel let dry then close lid okay and the ingredients are goat's milk Supon so saponified oils of olive, coconut, castor, shea, and cocoa butter, macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, and tea tree oil. So, um, I think Makeup by Owl posted um, that this cleanses your brushes and also disinfects them. Whereas, let me see, like I use this, the Beauty Blender Cleanser, sorry it's dirty. <laughs> To clean my beauty blenders and my brushes whereas this is probably just cleanses them and probably doesn't disinfect them I'm not sure but I love how this smells and it smells like it would disinfect it but it smells like vanilla ish also in a way I have no idea but it smells really good and I mean come in look at the size difference look at that size difference and I think believe this is almost the same price as this but the refills on this are a lot cheaper so let's go ahead and test it out all right let's go ahead and test out how this works or how well it works i should say so i've had this beauty blender for quite some time let's see there we go and it's you know this doesn't wash out let's see if it'll do a better job but there we go sorry go ahead and let it All right, so I don't know if you could tell. Let me see. If you could tell it did get some of. There's one spot right there, but most of it it got off pretty well. Like it had light brown, but this was the main thing. There's a brown spot here, and it's a light brown now. So it cleaned up pretty well. It's almost almost to its new condition, but the white one stayed pretty bad. But this is a big test this way. All right, let me set that to dry. Let's go ahead and try a foundation brush. And this is a Real Techniques stippling brush right here. And as you can tell, it is used and it's brown. And I believe the bristles are supposed to be white. Let's go and test it and see how well it'll clean this up. 
and we wet it and then it says to run it against let me wash that off and should we do it one more time so let me do that Okay, so the bristles are back to white. And it did do a pretty good job. Oops. There's like no foundation left. So I'm really impressed with that. Let me dry it off on this towel here and lay it flat to dry. Let's go ahead and try it on. Let's see what else is here. Mm, let's do another foundation brush, this one right here. Let me see if you could get a better glimpse of how dirty it is. This one's been laying. <laughs> Sorry, you could see the little the dust that collected on it. Obviously, I haven't brushed, washed my brushes in a while. But that's how dirty it is. Let's go ahead and wash it and see how it does. Let me go ahead and wet it. And then run it on the soap. Run it under water and then run it on the soap again. Let me go ahead and rinse the soap. Let's set it down. Let's do this. Let me try it. All right, let's see. Can you see that? Let's see. No, nothing, nothing in there. I love how this cleanses. This cleanse is really good and a lot better than the um, Beauty Blender. So let me go ahead and finish washing all my brushes. Alright, so my overall review of the Brush Me Off Hold on, brain fart. <laughs> brush Me Off Brush Soap is amazing. I love it. Um, this brush I've had for such a long time. It's never been this clean um, and this white. And then this Beauty Blender. We know the Beauty Blender, especially the white one, gets extremely dirty and it doesn't wash off. So it has like, let's see, one little spot and two little spots. But this is the cleanest I've ever been able to get it. And then it cleans so much better than the Beauty um, Blender Cleanser. And I know you could do um, there's soap and olive oil mixed up, but it's just this is so convenient. It's in a little tin. You rub your brush in it, wash it off, rinse it off, dry it, and lay it flat to dry it. And then once you're done with it, you know, with that bar, you could buy the replacement. And um, where's the little business card? Here it is. And this is their business card um, they have this coat but there's another one right now that's going on for this month I'll link it in the box below I'll link the prices for this and I also got the lip scrub and I don't know if I want to do a demo or just uh, write a little review in the description bar for you it comes on like a little thing like this and I'll uh, put the prices their link and um, yeah so let me know how you like this review and thanks for watching.